My name is Emma Peet. I'm 19. My passion is storytelling in any format. I'm in Tokyo now as a model and I love Japan. I love the culture and it feels like home here. It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. I'm living here for the rest of my modeling career and then I will transition out of modeling. I was an only child and I grew up like pretty much in a really small town in like the middle of the woods while my mom was a single working mom. So I spent most of my days alone in my room watching TV because outside there were grizzly bears and um, coyotes that are ready to eat you and I was not the kind of child who was ready to brave the world like that. And so I stayed in my room and I watched television and learned through those stories that were being toward, told towards me through different types of media, books, movies, television. And it became like the only thing I knew basically. Then I just thought that I just wanted to be an actor because that's what I only ever saw. And so I started acting and I've been acting for like 11 years, but I realized that wasn't my ultimate passion. Because with acting, like you are telling a story, but it's not your story. It's somebody else's story. And that's wonderful. I love that. I want to be a part of any sort of storytelling. But now that I've started modeling, I've realized that I have my own stories to tell. And I've gained a lot of experience through traveling the world. And I realized how much I enjoyed writing. And I decided, well, I can tell my stories through writing. And so I started to just write everything down. And from there, I started to realize I can incorporate my love for acting with writing and I can create scripts and novels and movies and things like this. The way I started modeling was uh, not a way that you should look up to if you want to be a model. <laughs> uh, it was extremely difficult for me to become a model actually. It took around two and a half years before I could get signed to an agency. I felt that if I could succeed in modeling, then acting would be no problem. And that I could gain connections with acting through modeling, which is not true, it's the complete opposite. But I eventually came across one of the agents from Milan, my agency in Milan, met me and he said, come to Milan. And I was like, mm, okay, <laughs> I'll come to Milan, sure. And I was there for five months. Um, I did test shoots every week, maybe two or three a week. Um, they were horrible. Uh, all of those pictures are burned and there's <laughs> like no record of them. Nobody uses them. And uh, I didn't make a dime. I lost a lot of money. Uh, just living in Milan and going to these test shoots and going to 10 castings a day and it was the most miserable time of my life. I thought about quitting. I really wanted to quit, but throughout my entire life I felt that I was a quitter. I quit every sport I ever did. I quit all of the instruments my mother forced me to do. I quit everything that I ever tried. And so I felt that since this was something that was so closely related to what I eventually wanted to succeed at, that I couldn't quit. If I quit, then I would never be able to succeed at anything. I just That's just how I felt at this moment regarding modeling. And so I forced myself to keep going and I was living with this girl and she was extremely successful. She lived in New York and she told me like, you're not working because this agency is not the right for you, right fit for you and you need a mother agency. So I applied to this agency and they actually liked me and they signed me. My whole modeling life just spiraled from there. I went to China and a lot of crazy stuff happened. And I went to Korea and Singapore, Malaysia, Japan, New York. I went to so many places and I accumulated all of these stories and, I, and every time I just wanted to quit so badly. Every new place I went to, something horrible would happen. It's just something that I wasn't passionate about. So I couldn't, I felt I couldn't keep going, but what kept me going was the passion for Get, accumulating these stories and experience and being able to apply that to what I wanted to do in the future like acting and and writing stories.
Regarding what I want to gain through storytelling, I, when I was a child, like I had nobody to look up to because I basically lived alone, and the only people that I could learn like basic social skills from were these stories that were being told to me through movies and acting. And so I know that's quite common in our society now, and I think that learning through media and through um, books as well, like that's the best way to sort of know what's happening around you because providing these stories and media uh, can help people sort of deal with things later on, uh, especially if they come from like a raw place that actually happened. Along with that, I also want to do like things that are like comedic relief or things that can just help you escape from a reality that you don't quite enjoy. I actually want to write like sort of a memoir about my life as a model. Um, right now I'm writing my memoir in a diary format in order to keep up a lot of my thoughts. I started writing a script uh, for just a short film, just for fun with me and my childhood friend. And it's just a short little thing that I've had in my head for a while, like a romance, because I'm such a romance buff. So regarding screenwriting, I it's only recently been something that I've discovered that I've been interested in. Before I was totally focused on novel writing, because I just felt it was the easiest way to get my thoughts down as quickly as possible. So I am really inspired by um, Jane Austen and Pride and Prejudice and Sense and Sensibility. I loved those books. Um, and then also I really like uh, John Green. I, he think, I think that he did a really good job with uh, The Fall on Our Stars. I recently read The Alchemist and it was literally life-changing. That book I really admire regarding adventure because I do want to write an adventure book. I have one in my head written down on like, I have like 100 pages of an adventure book. And so I love that book. Movies that inspired me, I my favorite one right now is called My Rainy Days. It's actually Japanese and it's based off of one of those um, telephone novels that were really popular in Japan like in the 2000s. Uh, that movie is so dramatic but so real at the same time. They did such a good job with keeping it based in reality even though it's so many crazy things are happening. So Japan if you has an extremely different way of telling stories and in my opinion Depending on the format, it's superior. Um, with anime, um, I find the format of anime to be really interesting. The, the biggest thing about anime that I really, really love is that all of the characters have more levels to them. The guy who's the antagonist is not evil just because he was born evil. He, there's something that happened to him that created him evil. And a lot of the times, um, the protagonist is able to help him get through these problems and he becomes a friend. I feel like that makes things so much more realistic because people are not black and white. And that's what I really admire about Japanese storytelling. The best thing to do is to go out and force yourself to do to do stuff. When I was living at my hometown, in my room, never leaving, never going to school, and just hating life because I didn't know how to get out of it, I had nothing to give. I had nothing to talk about. But when I finally like pushed myself and left and went out into the world and started to force myself to socialize, force myself to actually explore, then I started to accumulate these stories. And that's the best way. Even if you want to write fiction, even if like you have something in your head already, but you just can't get it down on paper, going out and actually experiencing the world will help you so much with actually getting things down and creating something. It, because it's like inspiration and because more of yourself will be in this piece and it'll become more raw and relatable. Providing like some sort of story, some sort of like something that you feel like would um, that you really want to portray to the world and putting your feelings and emotions into that I feel is like really amazing and beautiful.